Hello everybody, this is Dave and welcome back to the FM Scout YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series along with a couple of other YouTubers and I'm going to be telling you who, well, why you should consider managing certain clubs on Football Manager 2017. We're going to be picking our own clubs, clubs that we're familiar with. Me personally, I am a huge Wolves fan, so today I'm going to be explaining to you why I feel that you should consider managing Wolves on Football Manager 2017 and obviously and a couple of the other guys that are also going to be doing the video are going to explain why you guys should consider managing their favourite clubs on the new game. So, uh, as you can see here, I'm still on Football Manager 2016 but I've used the Pro Update. So the transfer update, we've got new players, uh, all the kind of lead changes and so on. I'm going to be kind of showing you what's unique about Wolves, why you should consider managing, what sort of project you've got, what sort of finances you've got and so on. So um, this is the page you get. Chairman isn't actually Danny Clark. I think that's just kind of a generic name for the guy. So I'm just going to skip those for the time being anyway. A transfer update. So I'll show you this quickly. This is what you should expect in the game. So we've currently got a couple of players out uh, on loan. Uh, being James Henry out until the end of the... Or just to January actually to Bolton. Um, Ethan Ebanks Landell is a young centre-back out for the rest of the season. Sheffield United. Now these are the big loans in. We've got Ola John in from Benfica, Hilda Costa in from Benfica, and How to Share in from Benfica. Three very key players. Cameron Borfick Jackson in from Manchester United, a fullback, and Richard Stearman in from Fulham as well. Connor Hunt and Aaron Collins, two youth players out on loan as well to Stevenage and Notts County, respectively. So are you gonna I am not sure if you'll start with these sort of injuries. Danny Barr and Nua Dicko. Um I haven't actually put the injuries, uh, the injury update on so new Dicko should probably be out for another two months maybe on your game two to three months danny bart should not be injured at all there'll be a couple of players injured but i can quickly try and go through that with you as well we'll start off with the squad though um i'm just going to try and get rid of unavailable players and there you go um, so you're going to start off with the two goalkeepers. You've got Andy Lonergan and Carla Kimi. In my opinion, I'd probably go with Carla Kimi as your better option. I'll try and compare them just so you got a quick look. Um, I'd say Carla Kimi is the better goalkeeper. Although those stats show that Andy, Andy Lonergan may well be a little bit better. Um, it depends how Football Manager kind of indicates it. They're very similar goalkeepers. Uh, Weight-wise, Andy Lonergan's two centimetres taller than him. But as you can see, the values, uh, Akimi, two years younger, still has a lot more uh, value to him as well. But I'd say he's a pretty solid goalkeeper for this level, but you may want to consider buying a better Premier League goalkeeper if you're aiming a little bit higher. Now, fullbacks are a really strong point for us as well. Dominic Ayolfa is very strong, young centre-back or right-back. We play him at right-back in real life. He's a lot better player there as well. Can bomb up and down the wings of that pace. A very, very good uh, uh, backup in Matt Doherty however I think uh, next year's game he will be a lot more comfortable as a left back as well uh, as he played there throughout last season another young prospect is Courtney Horse can play centre back or left back as well but you've got that option of Cameron Borthwick Jackson who has got good good potential in the game some Manchester United fans saying he's the best crosser they have at the club and as you can see that 13 cross that isn't too bad at all as well Centre backs, you've got Mike Williamson. We brought him in from Newcastle. I don't think he's played a game since. He's pretty slow, but defensive wise, heading, marking, tackling, that is all pretty high and decent as well. Stearman in as well, uh, a very uh, well, a club favourite as such, back in on loan from Fulham. And Danny Bart as well. Good potential on him. Uh, still quite young at 24 as well. Now, central midfielders, is quite a lot of these, so you may want to try and offload a couple. Dave Edwards um, has been a real loyal servant to the club. You may want to offload him if you're not going to play with a more attacking midfielder. And he's getting on. Well, I'm not going to say getting on. He's still 29, but there's still a lot younger central midfield options. How to Shearer, who I'm, I'm guessing may have a bit of an upgrade on next year's game as well. The young Portuguese midfielder on loan from Benfica. You've got Lee Evans as, again, who are probably loan out. Not quite ready for championship football, but still got pretty good potential on him there. Uh, Jack Price, still again young, but he, I feel he's ready for championship football. 
uh, passing decent. I think that'll get a bit of an upgrade along with kind of composure and so on as well. So that's not bad at all. Other players, uh, I'll quickly go through Connor Cody. You've got Romain Sace, who I'd say is probably one of the better central midfielders at the club. And Prince Onyange as well, who can play as a defensive midfielder or centre-back if you're in desperate times. I missed a big fullback as well, Silvio, who has huge, huge quality on this game. Possibly a Premier League quality as well. Moving on to wingers, you've got Jordan Graham, John Daddy Bod Varson. I think Jordan Graham will be out injured for a number of months at the start of FM17, along with uh, Eva, um, Mikel Jairo, uh, this guy who is all, already injured four to six months on this game. But I think he'll be out possibly for a similar amount of time as the new game comes out as well. Other wingers, though, you've got uh, yeah, John Daddy Bod Varson. Ola John in on loan as well. Um, very good physical stats on him. Good crossing. Decent finishing for a winger as well. Good dribbling. So on the board is pretty decent. Helder Costa too. Young, 21 years of age. Similar sort of player. And the big man, Ivan Cavalero. I think he's going to be your best player. He's going to bang in assists and goals for fun, especially in the championship. You're going to want to keep hold on to him. We've got him on a five-year deal, so his contract won't expire till 2021 anyway. So you're quite lucky on that front. Strike-wise, I'd really recommend getting a couple of strikers in already. You've got Nua Dicko, who will be injured for the first part of the season. Unless John Daddy Bodvarsson gets a significant upgrade on the game, he's a very, very good striker in real life. Um, maybe these stats deserve a little bit of an upgrade uh, but that's just my opinion Joe Mason's okay for this sort of level but I, I wouldn't consider him being great other players you got is Paul Gladden but he's nowhere near good enough to be a championship striker so I'd probably try and offload him as well youth facilities and so on if I go on to um, the club you've got the Molyneux, 30,000 seated stadium, grass surface as you'd expect, but 30,000 seated, not bad at all. Superb training facilities, superb youth facilities, good corporate facilities as well. See, junior coaching youth recruitment for that kind of level of facilities is probably a bit too low. So have a look at that in, in the new game, see what they kind of SI have given us and have a look at what you're thinking on that front. Transfer wise, we've been given a six point seven eight million pound budget to start off with. Uh, I'd expect that to be around the same, possibly even up towards fifteen million at the start of the game. Obviously, you've got a massive number of players that have come in, uh, and I'd expect huge money to come in if you get promoted or a couple of seasons after that as well. Wolves as a whole, as a club, has been mainly Championship based. We went up into the Premier League for a number of years uh, at the end of the. Uh, uh, the noughties really the 2000s um we came down had successive relegations but smash league one and we're back into the championship as well if you just wanted a little background history on it rivalries west brom and birmingham basically the team as a whole i feel is very strong for the championship and you should be aiming for the playoffs or higher with that sort of uh, with that sort of 11 um, in my opinion, I feel you should manage Wolves. There is still a project there. There's still players to bring in. There's still players to build. There's still players to nurture young players. And you can make them your own as well. With the financial backing as well, I feel it could be a real fun save for you to do. If you guys did like this video, smash that like and subscribe to the FM Scout YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. A link to that will be down in the description down below. Where I will be uploading Football Manager 2017 content quite often. Uh, make sure you smash that follow button on Twitter for FM Scout and myself as well. Until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you all soon.